I'm actually good at the. Oh my gosh, someone's butt is in my face. That's my butt. <laughs> she broke the rules. I'm a bear. Try and stop me. I'll eat your picnic basket. <laughs> Too bad you can't uh, turn into a honey badger. <laughs> and you were like, I don't care. I don't give a shit. A honey badger. Everybody. Yeah. Rock your body. <laughs> we are so stupid. Wow, you didn't even do the yeah. No, I, did, I didn't. I stopped it there. I'm moosing over there right now, but I don't know how fast my hoofs can go. <laughs> Pretty fast. I'd say about Morty. Morty. 40 miles what? per hour. I'd say about Morty. Oh, really? <laughs> Fuck the rules. We're not breaking up. Fuck the authority. <laughs> Why are people killing monkeys? Why? I was killing monkeys. Oh. <laughs> I hate monkeys. They're so terrifying. What? They have the strength of five men, but dude. They're so cute. They're my biggest fear. Chimpanzees are by far, like, I would rather encounter a legitimate zombie 1v1 than a chimpanzee. So, what you're saying is a zombie chimpanzee is like your biggest fear. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna fight this guy who's on your head. <laughs> He's stabbing me in the face. He really is such a douche. Yeah, I'm not even participating in these polls. Like, they can suck my dick. Literally, they can suck my dick. I don't mean that metaphorically. I literally mean I hope that they bend over and suck my dick. Because I fucking hate people like this. Yeah. This is the, my least favorite type of people in the earth. The, like, the whole world. Me too. And, like, I hope that they continue to do this until they're level 90 so that they pull shit and die immediately and then everybody tells them how fucking bad they are at this game and maybe they quit. I hate to be that toxic player, but like it's 10 times more toxic when somebody is telling you not to pull that somebody is the tank and you're intentionally continually pulling. Yeah. Like unless you have some sort of like traumatic brain injury that like would turn off your sensors for don't do that. Like there's really no excuse when someone tells you not to do something to continue doing it. And the mage is the one who's doing it. Look at him. He just pulled something below. And now we go to vote to kick. Oh, can't because he's in combat. Oh, this stupid fucking asshole. I hate people like this. Oh my god, I hate people How like this. I do you even... Oh, instance. It has to be instance? Yeah. Like, I can't even kick him because he keeps chain pulling. I have three motherfucking abilities. Like, I can't get aggro off of him once it's on him. My, my taunt has an eight second cooldown. He is like being the biggest douchebag. Why, why are we in combat right now? Like because he keeps pulling stuff. He's pulling everything. The healer is dead. I'm gonna punch him in his face in real life. So did you enjoy that dungeon, Danielle? It was really peaceful and serene, and I feel really zen after <laughs> having completed it. Is like steak sandwiches, is that a New York thing or do they eat those everywhere? I have never had a steak sandwich before. Okay, it's like shredded steak. It's not like a hunk of like meat on, it's like shredded up steak. And then it's got like onions and peppers and you melt cheese on it. Never had that before, and I totally okay. pictured a huge hunk of steak on a hamburger. You're also a proportional 5'5". Five five. Like, I'm a disproportionate 5'8". Nick and I had this conversation the other- Whoa! Oh, whoa! Sorry. Whoa. Sorry about that. Really upset Duncan in the background. Oh, that's Lulu. She's like- oh, That's Lulu. Intruder. She gonna get you. Intruder! Yeah, I'm just gonna mute this for a second. You <laughs> say some cool things. I'm saying things, this is really fucking awkward. I'll just sing until Cheap comes back. This guy just said one day you will be a scumbag in arenas. I believe in you, Rogue. I'm standing in Ogremar, minding my own business like I always do. And some guy starts running in circles around me, okay? Just like run and run, 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 run. And then he whispers me and he's like, I bet I can look just like you. Give me 20 gold. <laughs> 
I was like, I believe that you can look just like me, but I'm probably not going to give you 20 gold. <laughs> so, okay, I don't hear anything from him for like five minutes. Then all of a sudden, he's running around me again, and he looks like me. And he's like, it's kind of cute skin, but it looks better on me. <laughs> and I was like... Yeah, you are pretty cute because I like have no idea what to say. You know what I mean? Like, what are you even what even? So he's being weird. And I'm like, oh, do you like want to play with my toys? Because I have tons of like wow toys. And like this guy was being weird and like, so whatever. So he's like, yeah. So I invite him to my group and I put down like I have this um, I have this item that it's like a stable bar. And when you put it down, people can click on it and then they get a pony and they can ride it around. And I put down like my picnic tables and I put down all my toys and he goes through and he tries out every single toy that I put down. No joke, probably 10 things. He tries out every single one. He comes over to me, slash spits on me, whispers me, says you're weird and logs out. And what? I never see <laughs> him again. <laughs> This is the episode of Travel. Welcome to the Travel Channel, where you gaze upon my moose butt. Uh, turn around. Turn around. Uh, Every now and then I get a little bit hungry and I only think about food. Hamburgers. <laughs> hamburgers. That's not the words at all. Yeah, it's about, um, I want to say King Henry. King Henry. Anyways, it's with the other Bolin girls. It's like the Bolin girls and King Henry. And um, there's one guy that they boil alive on that show. Ew. Yeah, they like put him into a giant ass pot of boiling water and that's how they kill him. I'm like, wow, that's it. over something dumb. He like stole something like. Oh, I'm sorry. I cannot get over my animals. They're so rude. Oh, those are animals? I really thought that was a baby. <laughs> no. A baby human. No. That's None my of those cat. sounds sound like animals. She's like, walking around with something in her mouth like, hey, mom, I got you something. Oh, you doing something right now? Am I interrupting you? My bad. Would you rather be a butcher? Okay. Would you rather be a butcher or would you rather be um, an executioner at a state prison? Um, what am I butching? Like cows and pigs and shit. I don't know why I thought of lesbians. I what? thought of like butch and then I was like, <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't know. You're like, I'll take lesbian. I just thought of the word butch. I don't know. It's, my mind works in weird ways. Oh my god. Oh, my mom does not realize that I'm playing a video game. <laughs> mom aggro. Mom this is scared. happening right now. That asshole just killed you me. You just died. Oh my god, you said it was gonna happen. Yeah, except he is a dwarf with 571,000 hit points, so he's a level 90 and he's a douchebag. Wow, bag. what a dick. So wait, would you rather be a butcher or would you rather be a, an executioner at a state prison? Well, I mean, uh, what did we say I was butchering? Animals? Yes, like to be food. That is what a butcher is, Sarah. I mean, there's so many things you can butch, though. There's not. There's not. Isn't there like some serial killer named the butcher or something? You're not a serial killer. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm asking. <laughs> I would rather be an executioner then because I just love animals too much. Wow. I really like, the I truth mean. Truth comes out. What happens if you executioned some people who killed a bunch of children or something? I think that's just. I would like to think that uh, people who get executed, as a rule of thumb, I know there are some exceptions, are generally guilty, whereas, like, animals who are raised to be food are just generally delicious. Yeah, they can't help the fact Their that they're delicious. Their only crime is that they're so freaking tasty. <laughs> Stop being so tasty. I can't. Would you rather be lost in, like, a really gigantic woods, like, hundreds and hundreds of miles of woods, Okay, or would you rather be lost out at sea, like in a lifeboat? Oh, no. I could not do sea. No. You would choose the woods? I would definitely choose woods, because at least in the woods you can still forage and you can kill animals and eat them, but in the sea, like... Yeah, there's also predators in the woods. Yeah, there's predators in the sea, too, though. Not if you stay in your boat. But how are you going to eat and 
use the bath like think about using the bathroom in your boat i'm thinking of like a raft or something stick your ass over the side of the boat (laughs) understand i beat one of those people oh you just did i did it oh yeah all right come this way would you really want to eat out of the water that you pooped in though pretty sure so much poop is in the water already from the animals that live there but your poop well, it would be at a part of like a hundred million parts of water to one part poop. I feel like your poop would float by you just despite I you. I feel like if your poop is floating, you've got some <laughs> nutritional problems that you should deal with. Does poop not float? Would you rather have poops for the rest of your life that felt like they were coming out sideways oh or God. poops that were like lava? <laughs> <laughs> if you had lava poop, you could get out of so many things that you wouldn't want to do. Oh my god, if you ever need to get out of anything, literally just sound really tired and say you have lava poo. No one will ask any further questions, I promise. Just call your boss and be like, you don't understand, I am like molten lava poo. Molten. Done. Don't yeah. come into work today. <laughs> in our corrupted footage, I asked Sarah if she would rather be covered in bacon and in the woods with a bear. Or if she would rather be covered in chocolate frosting and stuck in a nursery school full of toddlers. <laughs> and we talked for like five minutes about toddler tongues. I just can't think. I, every time I think about that, I just think of little kids licking me and it makes she me like want to vomit. Gagged. I don't want to talk about it. I really it was like, <laughs> I like really can't talk about it. It's so gross. I just think of their little mouths on me. <laughs> Stop. Oh, chocolate. Yeah. <laughs>